All right, guys, I'd like to uh, take a second and talk about PPE for the electrical class. This, uh, most everything with the electrical class does apply to every class in our, our course or our program, but everything that we're gonna talk about right now is really just specific to the electrical class. Um, every other class should have a video much like this and it'll explain the PPE that is needed for that area, okay? Now, the PPE for um, electrical is actually pretty light. So there's not a lot for it, okay? But before we begin, I wanna explain that PPE stands for Personal Protective Equipment. This will be anything that you're going to wear to protect yourself. It could be gloves, it could be work boots, it could be long sleeve, it could be welding jackets, welding hoods, safety glasses. These are all PPE. So you wanna make sure that you are wearing them to keep yourself safe, all right? Now the main, the main thing for the electrical class is gonna be safety glasses. Okay, this is actually the only real piece of PPE that you are required to wear. Anytime that you are working on a lab, I'll expect you to be wearing your PPE or your safety glasses, I should say. A couple things with safety glasses are, you wanna make sure that they are clear. You can wear your reading glasses if you'd like, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you wanna make sure that you are wearing side shields if you are wearing those glasses, but you're welcome to wear if you have prescription glasses or something like that, okay? You can wear those. A few things that I want you to know is that the easiest way to get debris up underneath your safety glasses and into your eyes is going to be through the bottom side. I don't know if you guys can really see this, but this gap right here is the easiest one possible. So you want to make sure if you buy a pair of safety glasses that they come down as close to your cheeks as possible. Um, we will be supplying safety glasses, so if you need another pair, go get another pair. Try not to lose them, try not to take them home if you're borrowing ours, because they are expensive and we, are, we try to supply them for you. Um, another thing is if they are dirty, make sure you get them clean. I have those little cleaning towelettes all over the shop, um, so if you ever need to get them cleaned, clean them, because if they're not clean, you start seeing people put them up on their forehead or up on their head, and I, I want them over your eyes, okay? So as far as, like I said, the safety class, or the, as far as the electrical class goes, um, this will be the main thing you are going to need to wear. Now you're going to watch a video and it's gonna talk about everything you need to know for like arc flash protection, and there's gonna be a bunch of PPE in there. There's gonna be, they're gonna talk about um, flame retardant clothing, they're gonna talk about face shields or hearing protection, all of that. And that stuff is very important if you are working in a high voltage cabinet. We're not gonna be doing any of that in the classroom, in this class, I should say. As you go into the other classes, we will get into that and you will be required to wear that PPE, but for now, all we need to make sure is are wearing our safety glasses. If, for some chance, you uh, decide you need something else, please let us know. If you're working on something and you're like, oh man, my hands keep getting cut up, I need gloves, let us know, we'll get you some gloves. Um, we, want, we want to make sure that you're safe. So just because we haven't identified a safety hazard doesn't mean it doesn't exist and doesn't mean that you have a valid concern. So please let us know and we want to try to make your, uh, your experience here as safe as possible. So go ahead and continue on 